What's up, y'all? This is it. It's going down, said the entertainer. I'm live from my kids' playroom, man, and this is the Deaf Comedy Jam, healing through laughter. Sitting with, with me is my man, the one and only DJ Kid Capri. What's, What's up, up Kid Sag? How you doing, my brother? Oh, love, man. We put this together, man. You know what I'm saying? Like you came through with the music, just like we used to do back in the old days. No and doubt. Uh, this is all love, man. You know, be able to see everybody and what we can offer up today, man is uh, a live show. I got We got some of the best and the biggest names in Def Comedy Jam history coming on. Hot music, you you already doing your thing. And uh, mm -hmm. how you been holding up though, bro? Everything been good, man, been locked down, but uh, keeping myself busy right here in my uh, my crib, you know. I find I have a lot of things to do here, you know, and also been uh, on the net, you know, making sure that I uh, take care of the people. You know, for years, people take care of us and, uh, pay for us to come and do their shows and their concerts and stuff like that. I feel like it's dope that we give it back to them right now in this time of need. So, you know, there's a lot going on in the world. You know, that's yeah. still going on and that's more important than anything. But right now this is, you know, easing people. So we're going to try to do our best to help people as much as we can. You've been hot with the DJ shows. You're doing your thing online. People can check you out. Uh, you know, on, you know, on your, on your IG, they can go up with you something. Hold oh, up. You can just put yes. a police light on me, man. <laughs> hey, I'm in my own house, officer. Officer. <laughs> hey, kid, we gonna we gonna we gonna pop things off, man. We are gonna come back to you later on in the show. All yes, good, sir. fam. Love you, man. Love you, brother. Let's get it, kid. Capri in the house. That's how we doing it, y'all. This is it. This is Death Comedy Jam healing through laughter. We got legends coming on tonight, man. You know, it is a uh, friends of mine from all over the business, back and forth. Matter of fact, one of the, one of the, one of the dopest dudes to do this, man. He's a comedy legend, been around for a long time. So many great movies that you love him. You, you know, he stayed busy. He stayed busy on that stage. We did a lot of things together. He was my partner in the honeymoon as we did it. Y'all got to show some love. Welcome on. My and dirty, see, dirty. Man. What's up, Sid? I enjoyed the show, man. man. We at man, we out here, and it is it, it, good, man. You know, it's a blessing because y'all just had a little one brought into this this world, like you know what I'm saying. So you think about that, man. Like your your child just came into a world when it's been flipped upside down, man. And you just, but you got I kids know. at all ages, Mike. You got kids now. <laughs> <laughs> what about that right there? You ever seen that? What the, what is that, John? That's a cable box. You don't remember them cable boxes? <laughs> uh, you remember them old school cable boxes? Yeah, like that's, that? uh, that's the, uh, we used to have the flat, the, yeah, that's the flat brown one like that? Yeah. Yeah, that flat brown oh, that's one. crazy. Them cable boxes. Where you get that from, man? You have, you've been cleaning, you've been deep in the closet. You found that cable box. I've been stealing, I've been stealing cable, man. And uh, uh, I got something else you might want to buy too, man. I got a, uh, I got a I got a brick phone too, Ooh. man. On the back. Now, now that's that's that that that's that's kind of worthy right there. That's kind of hot. That might be that might be come back. I think that's the only phone you can't trace right now. Now you can't go on you can't go on Google or nothing. But still, that's all you need. Hey, how many now? Now I want to know how many hats do you have? Oh man, I got over two hundred hats for sure, man. I got like wow. I got a lot of hats. I give them away too. I kind of like give them away to people after a while. But uh, yeah, man, I've been I'm crazy with them hats, man. So I, I know my wife you the hat man. To, my wife made me slow down, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you, church man. We got so many people ready to jump on with us, man. It's fun. All right, love, bro. Hey, man, love to you. Say it much love. God bless you, man. The family, man. Stay safe. All right, you too, man. God bless you and that beautiful little baby, man. And the wife, y'all look that's dope. Yeah, man. So uh, we gonna we we got folks coming on with us all day, man. And it's fun, man. I, I appreciate y'all. So many uh, legends gonna be a part of this. We got some fun bits coming up. 
Uh, you know what I'm saying? This all kind of happened real quickly, too. That's the thing about it. Y'all know how everybody been just trying to jump online to figure out how to get back. That's the one thing that we're doing uh, for the night. So make sure that this whole purpose is to give back to the essential workers, all of, all of those being affected by the COVID-19. Right now, though, again, another legend coming on. Funny-ass brother right here. Y'all seen him, know him, love him from the Chappelle show. Ash and Larry. That's right, y'all. Let's pick in. Let's jump in with Donnell Rollins. What's up, Donnell? What up, son? What up, <laughs> what up, B? You know, what, up you, dog? I, what I will say is, I know we're in a funny state right now, son. This is the only time in my life I'm answering, calling everybody back, son. I'm calling <laughs> every. You don't know when it's going to be that Rona call, son. Look. Ooh. You know, no, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, you was even like, man, I'm gonna call him in a week or whatever. Right now, so I'm like this, hey, Ray Ray, you all right? Everything okay? <laughs> Long as everything good, I'm good, son. You been leaving the house at all, man? You go to, you get out the crib? Got, got, you gotta get eggs. Yeah, you, you gotta go out to get, gotta get eggs. I usually buy a dozen at a time, but just to get out the crib, I'm buying one egg at a time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <You> gotta, <laughs> Well, this is what people don't understand about what we do, Sid. We don't think like the normal person. You know what I'm yep. saying? When people are grieving, we're grieving, but you ever go to a funeral and everybody's like, oh my God, he going to heaven. He was a good man. He was a good man. You said his name was Murder Mike. He ain't going, everybody ain't going to heaven. He ain't going to heaven. Not just, not because Corona, that ain't no exemption right there. You not know, just like because you and just because you put the hashtag RIP, that don't mean they be like, there's people I did that now. Oh man, I could just throw everything on this Rona right now. And as <laughs> as we, we, but we, you know, our job is, and Dave Chappelle said it once to me, and this is when the whole Me Too thing and a lot of other things were going on. He said, it's, we got the toughest job in the world. He said, and it's our job to make fun of the things that are troubling the world the most. This is what we stand up. That's part of the name of it. This is what we stand up. Because as much as people want to be critical of what we do, oh, I can't believe he said that. Somebody got to keep the, the sanity. And somebody, we got to find something to laugh at. And yeah. I'm not making fun of this. Yeah, you know? no, we that's real talk. That. We've, had, we've had viruses and we had situations where, you know, if you change your extracurricular lifestyle, you can avoid something. But this is like, when you talk about walking into somebody's breath, you know what I'm saying? That's a whole yeah. different level. You know? And that's the thing about these masks, too. People putting these breaths on. They putting, they, you know, they got the mask on. But now they realizing how they breath really stink, too. That's the oh, whole yeah. thing. So not only Corona, we got, you know, yeah, but, we got. Uh, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Halitosis uh, out there think killing lot, people. I think a lot of people, you got a choice. Corona, halitosis. You got to make a choice, son. You got to make a hey, choice, bro. I ain't not man. I'm going to let you, man. We're going to come back. We'll see you a little later, man. I'm gonna, I appreciate you, man. I hey, look, but look, just the most, the most, I, I said the most important part, stay moisturized. I got vitamin E. I got coconut oil. I nice. got rosemary. I got nice. aloe vera. And I'm staying moist, son. There you go. No longer right. Ashley Larry at all. That's it. <laughs> My man. All right, salute, fam. Appreciate you. Donnell Rollins, so many people hit me every day about my character, Father Doug. This dude writes these ideas, he produces them, he gets them to, to shoot them. And again, just one of the hot comics in the world and an all around good dude. Y'all welcome to the show, Mr. Marlon Wayne. What's up? <laughs> I love you, nigga, but I don't trust you. How you doing? <laughs> even through the even through the wire, though. And I, they don't know how this fucking Corona getting there, getting here. Nigga, nigga. They I, even tell. I just, I, nigga, it could be nigga. All this zooming niggas is doing for all we know. Every nigga that zoom get the shit, nigga. Oh, <laughs> I ain't even thinking oh, about this fuck. shit. See, that's the, <laughs> wait, wait. You know, there's a nigga, there's a conspiracy, niggas like yeah. nigga. G five, they did oh. not notice when G five hit, nigga. That's when all this shit start popping off, and then zoom, nigga. Zoom, nigga. <laughs> Think about everybody that use Zoom. They all got it, dog. Uh, they all got it. Uh, and you know this also. <laughs> it's, it's fast because it's Zoom to them. <laughs> nigga, it's all that 5G shit, Seth. Nigga. That nigga, I nigga, I, nigga re, real talk. Nigga, that's why I don't want to none of that shit. They want to blame the Chinese. I don't think it was the Chinese, nigga. Nigga, Who you Mexicans, think it was? nigga, coronavirus. 
That nigga oh. keep fucking nigga drinking the motherfucking Corona like right that. And then That's they put the line in the Motherfucking King say, yeah, they nigga, because I knew this shit was popping off. I knew that shit was popping off. But I knew we was at a detrimental place when, nigga, I went on Instagram Live and I seen Puff Daddy with gray hair. I said, nigga, it's Puff me. can't get his groomer? Get out. Yeah. Nigga, I know Puffy 30 years. This nigga always looked like he just jumped off of some black hair care product, whether it be New Now, Murray's, or fucking S Club. This nigga was ungroomed. I thought Morgan Freeman took over Diddy's site. I was like, oh shit, nigga. This shit is real, nigga. Puffy ain't got no groomers, nigga. Let's go. This is real. So y'all people, yeah. y'all come on down, y'all support. Peace, love. I miss you, nigga. Yeah, always. dog, man. People love people you know, talking about that movie. They want us to do another haunted house. Haunted so, house man, we three. Let's do it. About, let's, let's go, fam. I love I, you, brother. I, I holla. Keep love doing it. Back, man. Yes, sir, right, man. Let's go, man. What up, Sid? Sid? Uh, what up, y'all? Right. Yeah, look, look who it did on the check-in, man. It's a Deaf Comedy Jam. Healing through laughter. Uh, one of the legends in the business. Great entertainer all the way around. Uh, again, just wanted to drop on to say what's up to y'all. Y'all get some love to us, y'all. Yeah. Uh, check me out, us. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm starting to feel I like about, I'm catching I got, up with you said. Shit, I'm over here. Nice eight count way, boy. Hey, you been at home <laughs> just snacking. You know? I mean, eating up everything, man. That's what yeah, it is, man. too, man. I, yo, I just wanted to check in. Way back in the day, I think it was one or maybe two times I was able to come in the audience of Deaf Comedy and be able to just, just sit and be a part of that history. I mean, I was sitting up. I was... Um, I think Flavor Flay was there that day, and somebody oh, yeah. coming from the uh, from the balcony. It was it was crazy, man. Yeah, check it out, said man. You don't normally get a chance to aggregate and get this many people concentrated in one time. So this is yeah. like, I mean, it's really great. that's the silver lining, the fact that we are all in this together, and obviously yeah. trying. You know, this is for a great purpose. You know, what I mean, to really you know benefit the people on the front line. But I'm I'm also too happy. You know, to be able to, you know, just chill and relax. It's like it's work, work, work. We don't really get a chance to enjoy, you know, and just like relax and just chill for two. So, yeah, we eating everything and yeah, we yeah. You know, finding, you know, new ways to talk to each other through, you know, yeah. Instagram, Facebook and TikTok and all of that stuff. But but think about the time that you get with your kids. Think about the time yeah. that you get with your loved ones to really be able to reconnect. Because when we come out of this, we're going to have obviously... We're, we're going to be different. We're going to have changed and things will become, well, at least I think a lot of us should value, you know, that time and that yeah. connection. And maybe you work through some, some old shit that's just been, you know, lingering in your relationships or either, you know, that time that you really want to connect with your children to really be able to understand them. I know I've had like tons and tons of things that I had to, you know, I was broken by their homework. Yeah, that shit killed me. Oh, I ain't gonna even lie. Uh, yeah, they all were yeah. real talk. Nick, yeah, what, we weren't was like, ready for it. You weren't even ready to, you couldn't even get ready for it. It was like happening like the, man, the I day was they like, decided. What the fuck is this? I don't even, I, I graduated. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I get it. I'm about to call. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Salute you, brother. Thank you so Dad, much, love man. love you, man. I, I love you, bro. All right. Usher, man. Y'all shout him out. That's big, man. That was big right there. Come on, man. Apply a round of applause, man. Now joining me right now on the cool check-in. This is my brother from way back in the day. We've been doing still things. He wanted the greatest to do it on that stand-up stage. He also comes to plays with me on my show, The Neighborhood. Y'all show some love one time for Earthquake. What's up, Quake? Ain't nothing to tell you what I went to say. I'm up here Sunday, you know, you know, hosting this, drinking, uh, this is a little uh, sangria. I've got a little sangria. Yeah, that look much too like Kool-Aid for me to be drinking. I'm going to give you 10 motherfucking things right now that going to help them get rid get through the corona post and present. Okay, Tick, should we write them down? Should we be writing these down? No, nah, you ain't going to write it down. Me and you going to give it to them. They need to write it down. Okay, Me cool. and you going to flow well. Yeah, right, let's go. First one is, to get number first. one, do not, for no reason, go down there fucking with that hospital. If you got a sprained ankle, you better walk that shit off. This ain't the time to go down there. You better <laughs> let them doctors take a nap. You go down there with an ankle, you ain't going to come back. No, Stay your yeah. ass at home. Stay your two. Number two, when it's over with, this rent, you better have that man rent. 
You better have that landlord <laughs> rent. You, you better not be talking about, well, they said I ain't got to pay. Who is they say? You better bring yeah. them in here for that $7,899,000 you're going to owe. Next one is, I ain't going to the club no more looking for no woman, no IG no one. I'm going to the hospital cafeteria. Do you yeah. see all these fine doctors and nurses all on TV, nigga? I ain't even know they had that many. <laughs> Fuck a twerker. Give me one in that white goddamn suit. Nigga, it's some fine. And another one for all yeah. you brothers. Knowing right now that that ain't your child. You done had three weeks to study that little motherfucker. You know that is not your child. Your child would not eat the last piece of chicken knowing you ain't ate yet. You done stand in line to get motherfucking eggs, and this little motherfucker that ate, that ain't your child. You got a counterfeit baby. Counterfeit baby around here. I want all women, do not give nobody no pussy to no man if he don't vote. If he don't vote, Cut the pussy off. That's the only way we're oh, going to get this nigga out of office. All women got to cut the pussy off. And ladies, and another thing, now that you got stuck with that man for three weeks quarantine, give some appreciation to the side chick that took that load off you. That you, you ain't had to give it to him, but once a week, this nigga coming back and back. You ain't got nowhere to hide. You got to sleep with him. You know you only with him for the kids and you got a good job. He is making you give it up. You deserve, you got to call the side chicks and say, listen, girl. I really didn't know how much you meant to our relationship until I had to be stuck with this nigga every motherfucking day and night. Listen here, what you need? I'm going to make sure this nigga spend more time with you. Y'all ain't got to sneak no more. Just don't go to no restaurants that we go to and everything. Just keep it on a hush-hush. Hey, listen, yeah, yeah. Sid, I love you. I'm out of here. Got. Follow me at The Real Earthquake. Make yes, sure you sir. come to the big house and you'll hear all 10 how you can survive the goddamn corona. And give, man, and understand we are important. Y'all going to need us because we're going to make you laugh. No, I, you, no man. doubt, man. Appreciate you, fam. All right, y'all. One time for Earthquake, man. Y'all let him hear, man. Uh, hey, Russell, what's going on, man? Hey, what's going on? Yeah. So I see that you are, you're up, you know, where you are over there. And yeah, uh, I you're in. I, I had some technical difficulties, um, but I, yeah. I want to say thank you for hosting. You know, it's been very, very um, auspicious for you to do what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's very, very uh, enormous what's, what's going yeah. on. You know, Corona have everyone in the house, you know? Yeah. Like, we're all like, we're one. We're all one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I'm in Bali, you know? I'm not with you, you peasant Negroes, but yeah. you know, I'm still like, you know, I'm here. <laughs> It's not, it's not a way to talk to people during a crisis, Russell. I mean, yeah, but I created Def Comedy Jam, so you know, it's like it's whatever. Y'all, welcome, to, welcome to the show, Mr. Anthony Anderson. Hey, hey, said uh, I saw Epps on here earlier, man, uh, about the yeah. stuff he didn't found in his room. Yeah. Look what I didn't found in my drawer: the original oh. DVD player, travel oh. mode, and look what's oh. playing. Look what's playing on it. Oh, barbershop! Oh, shit. Barbershop. that's what I, that's what we did together. So, oh, you put the you put the DVD player in the little side slot right there. Put it put it put it in the side slot and pop up the screen, baby. Come on, man. Oh, that's classic right there. Oh, speaking of things getting in my house that I ain't never used, I ain't never been in the ocean before, Sam. But I got these flippers. You ain't never been in the ocean like that, man. Not like that, nigga. Yeah, no, man, you. You might have been ready. You doing some wild sex, sexual moves with the flippers right there, man. <laughs> hey, I did find some old VHS tapes whose titles I can't name on this. Oh, screen. but I, all I need is a VCR now. So anybody out there listening and watching, if you come across a VHS player, I need it to uh, relive some past. <laughs> I want to show you something else I, I, I uh, found while I was uh, cleaning out my closet. What you got, dog? I don't even know what year oh. this is from. I don't even oh. know what year this is from. But you know what? I'm going to take Dude, a picture of us right now. Do the film come out the side? The yeah, film like that. It's, it's, it's broken. I, I, I'm going to figure oh, it out. I, I got it right here, though. Oh, it's going to come that's out. Probably, yeah. They're probably, we're probably both coming out of there looking like Glenn Terman. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and so, yo, Seth, how you been dealing with this quarantine, man? Tell the people. 
Yeah, no, that's that's me, man. I mean, literally, I just been there. We've been doing, you know, like a lot of people been doing a push up challenge. We started that with each other every day. So, you know, we're doing the push ups, sit ups every day, planks. So I get up, I do my workout, I get on the treadmill, and then, you know, I come downstairs, you know, we snack, we go to the grocery store. Uh, we take a walk, me and the wife around the neighborhood. I ain't, you know, right. same thing, man. Yo. Yeah, you can't yo, do Before I go, though, said. Yes, sir. I heard you say you made a donation. Yeah. To 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 to, to what we're doing right there, right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, man. I, uh, you, you said it was five grand? Yeah, I did it through the foundation, five grand. My foundation is going to match your uh, donation, man. So they got another five Gs coming from me. Salute, man. I appreciate that, man. It's all love. We we just out here trying to make sure that we give back. And uh, that's dope, man. I appreciate that, Anthony 100, man. Appreciate you, brother. You got it, baby. All right. All right. Salute, man. Right now, right now we, we're, we're going to hop into it uh, with another, you know, great, great, uh, great person is, you know, out in our world right now. You know, tastemaker, a person that makes you think. Person you wake up in the morning, make you laugh. He, he asks all the right questions. Y'all got to do it, man. Y'all, come on. Welcome to the show. Charlemagne, the God. What's up, Charlemagne? What's up, OG? How you doing, my brother? All good, man. We appreciate you jumping on with us, man. We just out here, you know, we just trying to pop this thing off, you know. We bring a little laughter, bring a little awareness to all the stuff that's going on out here. I see you've been, you're getting down, you know, with, with all your, you know, social media along with the show, but you you be really staying on top of things. And uh, that's really important, man. I appreciate you being a part of this, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't got nothing else to do. I'm just, I'm just tired of wearing hats in the house because I don't got no haircut. <laughs> And my goddamn hairline is social distancing from my forehead. And you know man, that's 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 me too. Man, everybody be trying to talk about my foot. They told me I ain't got no sun. They told me my nose was light skinned, man. Oh, Why yeah, too? Man. <laughs> they keep asking me, like I'll answer the phone on FaceTime. I have a hoodie on, I have a wool cap. And they be like, man, why are you sweating? Nigga, because I got a hoodie on in the house and the heat on. What's wrong with you? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I know, again, one of the, you know, you what you're a big advocacy for is, you know, it's like kind of like mental awareness and mental health. You know, I think that's things, too, that people can't take for granted. Like when people are forced to be alone for those who are bachelors or living at home and can't go nowhere, you start to have that thing in there, man. You got anything that you just kind of basically tell people that you just try to encourage folks to do, like just to stay at peace? Yeah, you know, said I deal with, um I've always dealt with like really bad anxiety. And, you know, I started going to therapy for it a few years ago. And surprisingly, man, I don't have any, I haven't had any anxiety yet towards this whole situation, only because I read this book, man, called The um, the Seven Spiritual Laws of Success by, by Deepak Chopra. And, and he had this yeah. law, it was law number six, called the law of detachment. And he talked about just leaning into the uncertainty of things, right? So it's just like, you know, sometimes we we, we, we try to have control over everything, and we want to yeah. dictate. We want to dictate what the outcome is going to be for a situation. And sometimes a lot of things are just out of our control. So you have no choice but to lean into the uncertainty of it. And I know, you know, you, you. I'm from the country, man. So we used to have the Serenity Prayer. And the Serenity Prayer is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And for whatever reason, with this situation, I've totally accepted that. And it's weird for me because I'm not usually like that. I'm usually the person that's, you know, thinking the worst in every situation. With this, I'm yeah. just. Like, Man, whatever, whatever, whatever is gonna come our way because of this situation, it really is just it's just God's will. So I'm just leaning into the uncertainty of it all and hoping that some solutions, you know, come out of this this problem that is the coronavirus. And for whatever reason, man, that's just been keeping me keeping me very mentally healthy. You know, it's a great attitude, man. To be honest with you, and I hope people, anybody that hears this, that you've been dealing with it, I hope that you take that in because you know I think that that's really true. I mean, I've always been a very patient human being about. Like like things like that in, in career life, I never get really too ang- anxious about that, you know, uh, about what's supposed to be at next or what I'm supposed to have or what somebody's supposed to you know do for me or any of those things. And so I really think that the spirit of, of allowing the uh, because like once you get into like day ten, day eleven of this, you realize you don't have no control. So you might as well let go and let God. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, Charlamagne. Thanks for jumping on with us, man. Hey, thank All you, Kate. love, man. What's up? She ready. She got this. She ready. Oh, hey, it's Miss Gravia. Yeah, you know, just, yeah geez, she that's... ready. Did you cook tonight, too? It's Sunday. Did I cook? No. Actually, I was invited somewhere, and I decided to, uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. you know, my quarantine. Today's my last 
according to my calendar, this is my last day of quarantine. So I decided to to uh, oh, visit oh. someone. So you had a, a quarantine. And they, cycle and they had a of chef come through. They had a oh, chef so. come through. Do you guys want to meet the chef? Yeah, let's check the chef out. Who's the chef? Okay, so I'm gonna let you check out the chef. Yeah. Let me let you check oh, out the chef. She came through. Quarantining. She came it's, through. It's chef came through kicking. Chef Amira oh, in the building. What's How up? Last night I fried some chicken. Okay. In my oilless fryer. It's a total, it's the air fryer thing? Or not it's the, the air fryer. So you know you okay. put the oil on before, then you, you batter it, then you put it in the air fryer, then boom, bop, beat up, bop. It'd be crispy. I, I proposed to myself last night. I proposed to myself. How'd you do it? What was it like? A, was it I was, real last night? I was like, Tiffany, we've been through a lot together. But the way the way that you cook meals, what you say? What you say? Would you yourself? marry me? Would you marry me? I want to be with you forever because you throw down in the kitchen. And then you go, Oh my god, like and then I was yourself? like. I, I don't know about I don't know about this because it's, it's people out here that like me that want me like I don't know if you can take care of me like that. Yeah. Tiff, I will always bring food home to you if you promise to cook it. I will take care of you. And then, then you decide to. Marry and then yourself. and then and then the Energizer batteries busted out and. I, in my mind, I'm married to myself right now. You, so you consummated. Okay. I, so you not only did you marry yourself with a full night ceremony where the chicken was good, you also consummated everything later on that night with a full set of batteries that worked. I, uh, I see. That's my dog back there. I know. What's up? Look at him. <laughs> Dirt, what up, boy? I know. He can't hear you. He can't hear you. <laughs> who you think that is? I know who it is. Who do you, who do you think that is? <laughs> who is that? The sky. I know. <laughs> hey, I like that though. That's a good look right there. That's all. That's an all around good look right there. That's my guy right there. You know that we barbershop three. Yeah, together. he's good people. Yeah, we barbershop three together. We he's a nice guy. Yeah, already. You know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna let some of these people in too. I appreciate you, baby. I'm gonna let some of these people come in and play with us. All right. If I find some better break dance, but you'll come back. <laughs> Salute. Yeah, what up, what's up? Up? <laughs> I know I was trying to get you the other day when you were jumping on when I was dressed up. I was trying to holler yeah. at you. I saw you. I saw you holler at me for a minute. What up, Derek? Yeah, I was popping in. What up, fam? Oh, yeah, good. good, man. All yeah. good, man. Stay out there. Stay safe out there, man. You too, bro. Thank yes. y'all for keeping us laughing, man. We need yeah, it. bro. I right. Pre appreciate you, man. It's good. That's exclusive. I, don't, I got a That's full exclusive. belly. I got a half cup of vodka. I just got exclusive right now. That was like that was exclusive, like, man. Yeah, that was the exclusive right there. What? And because we've been on quarantine, I couldn't get, I can't get my depot, I, I can't get my depot shot. So let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. down, bust down on you know <laughs> something. Bye, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Crazy as hell. <laughs> All right, mommy. See you. All right. We got some. Like again, some great clips. So many funny people uh, uh, definitely leave wanting to be a part of this show and send us some really cool things. We're gonna show y'all something right now. This is one of the hottest dudes that's popping out. He's got, you know, he's great live, but he's also killing it on all the social and on this live. You gotta go to his IG. But check this out. Sit this in as a part of the show, y'all. Give it up, Mr. Tony Baker, the king of the voiceover, y'all. Tony Baker, check this out. Take your ass in the house. Get your ass in the house. Oh, you got cheeks of steel, huh? Just getting some essentials? Take your ass in the house. I have my documents. You and those documents need to get on in that house. You can quit fumbling with the controls and just take your ass in the house. Hey, fellas, look who's outside. Just needed some must-have, guys. You just needed some must-have, man? Take your ass in the house. Talk about some must-have. Hey, man, grab him and hold. Give him a full portion of the stick.
Back. Oh, you think I can't get y'all long range? Tap. Tap. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is K-More to go. Yo, what's cracking, everybody? This is Reggie Coles. What up, y'all? It's your girl, Kelly Hardy. And stay, yo, as home. I hope y'all are all staying safe out there. Hey, what's up, y'all? Said the Entertainer. We back wow. live. Def Comedy Jam presents Healing with Laughter. Uh, again, man, we are out here trying to do great things. This is all a, a great little marathon. So many legendary comedians have jumped off. We having a blast, but we also again trying to do great work. So I want to introduce you guys to a couple of you know, very. Uh, these are doctors that are out here on the front lines doing things for us right now. We'll just kind of have you guys introduce yourselves right here. We're starting with you, Doctor Hunt. You can start it out. I'm Dr. Ramik Hunt, internal medicine physician and obesity medicine specialist. Where are you based out of, sir? New Jersey, Princeton, New Jersey. All right, no doubt. All right, uh, Dr. Jenkins, go ahead. Uh, my name is Dr. George Jenkins. I'm assistant dean of the Office of Access, Equity, and Inclusion at um, Columbia's College of Dental Medicine in New York City. All right, indeed. And then uh, Dr. Davis? Yeah, uh, Dr. Sampson Davis. I'm a uh, ER emergency medicine physician. I'm a uh, Working in New Jersey, East Orange, and uh, Jersey City, also in Pennsylvania, St. Luke's Medical Center. So you guys are actually in really the, the, some of the really key hot spots of what's going on around there. Just very briefly, though, uh, and I'll let you just kind of go in the way that you introduced. Uh, just kind of talk about what what do people need to be aware of, what have you kind of found out, and what can we do to really kind of help out right now. Yeah, this is Dr. Hunt. I think um, it's really important to to, to listen to what you. The, the CDC is saying as far as the, 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 the you know, the, the physical distancing that you need to do um, and in washing your hands, all the, the basic stuff that you know. But I think the most important thing that I think we still need to really get through to people is staying at home. Um, I see a lot of people out still and it's, it's causing like these hot spots because people are out and we're getting people to come to the hospital because they were out somewhere where they shouldn't have been and now they got COVID. So I really do think it's super important that you you, you really stay home and let this thing run its course um, and then take it from there. What are some of the things that you have been dealing with, especially from an educational point, point of view, uh, what you want um, to say to the people? From, a, from an educational um, standpoint, as well as a, a public health standpoint, I, I can't really um, sit here and say that I'm on the front line like my two partners being a dentist, even though it's a ton of dentists um, that are out there um, assisting with, with a lot of the efforts. But from an educational standpoint, um, it's a lot of adjustments that need to be made on the part of our parents, um, our students, and our educators. So I want to salute and encourage them because it's a lot of families home now struggling to try to keep their their schooling going and it's a big yeah. disruption. Um, so all of these sorts of things and uh, I, I do a lot of mentoring. So when I'm speaking to them, I try to just help them to understand the whole world going through it. So we're gonna just you know try to learn and get ourselves through it and adapt and try to push ourselves through it. But it's, it's a big disruption mm -hmm. for a lot of our students. So um, just trying to stay healthy mentally as well um, in the middle of this uh, is, a, is, a, is a big thing that, that we try to help Christ. out with as well. All right, jump in there, Dr. Davis, what you got? Physical distance, I like to call it, call it physical distance versus social distance, because socially we need to interact more, but the physical distance is, is what's saving us right now. And we're seeing the numbers, especially with the death rates. Today was the first day, which is a big round of applause that we saw the death rates. It's kind of crazy, it sounds morbid to say that the death rates for the first time did not go up today. It, it reached a point where the numbers were less than they were yesterday, which is a positive sign. So what we're doing, young, old, whatever, we got to make sure that we stay our distance from each other because it's imperative at this point right now that we maintain what we're doing because it's showing positive signs. I know it doesn't seem like that, uh, but it's showing positive signs. And if we do so, I, I believe in the next two weeks, we will have plateaued and we will start to see a decrease in what we're seeing now. Yeah, we've been getting information, uh, you know, that, again, this week, mainly this week, is supposed to be one of the uh, most important weeks for us to to stay home. And uh, you can, you know, I guess, you know, from a medical perspective, explain that and why, uh, probably to the very thing that you just said, that today was one of the numbers, you know, the day that the death toll didn't go higher, 
but I don't know about the amount of people who are uh, confirmed as just having the virus. Is that number still going up and rising? They're just so, being able to control the deaths. So what we should know is that the number we're seeing now is not a real number. Um, and what I mean by that, the deaths are accurate. But the, the total numbers of confirmed cases is probably, I would think, around a half a million. Uh, and what I mean by that, yeah, what I mean by that is because um, we're not able to test everybody. I saw 25 people today. I tested two. But we don't have the man staff or the physical staff, the man and the woman staff, to test all the patients. Um, so those were not as symptomatic. We're not able to do so. And only those that are really showing signs of severity, we are testing at this point. So the testing is still an issue as well as what about all the medical equipment and those kind of things, the needs for the, the doctors and the nurses in the uh, facilities, these things are still an uh, issue on, on, a, on a big basis, right? Yeah, uh, to some degree. Yeah, there's still, there at least like in my hospital um, right now, we have the, the equipment, the PPE right now. Um, but if we don't get another supply, we're projected not to have it in a couple of weeks. So um, it's it's crazy because I, you know, you 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 have to go in and take care of patients, and you want to be able to be protected. And so that's the reason it's it's, it's really important that we get coordinated care throughout the, the the states and make sure that each state gets the the appropriate equipment because you can't take care of people if you don't have a ventilator. And if you don't have the, the proper mask and gowns yeah. and gloves, and so it's really important that you stay on your, your your legislators and make sure that they're doing what they're supposed to do as well, because we are on the front lines. I had a patient who passed away today from COVID, um, and it was brought in from somebody, one of her family members, um, who was going in and out. This is my, you know, and I, that's why I had to tell my aunt, like, yeah, you you're in the house, but your kids going in and out. So it's almost yeah. as if you ain't in the house. And this is exactly what happened to my patient who passed away. So it's really important just because you're in the house and yeah. everybody else is going in and out. It, it, you, it, you, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's it, man. Well, I appreciate you guys. Uh, we, you know, we're going to get a, We got a lot of people coming on. And again, we thank you all so much for coming in and just being a part of this. Again, what we're trying to do is bring this awareness also bring some laughter and some love, but we sure appreciate your expertise and being in this, in this area and being able to uh, advise us of some ways to help, some things to look out for, and uh, giving us that hope that, you know, when we get through this, we can all be on the better side if we all contribute and just do the right things to make sure that we're doing the, that we are participating in quarantining and in practicing uh, uh, the distancing and all those things. So I thank you guys so much for being a part of this, all right? Thank you, oh, salute, 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 salute. Thank you all. All right. And we got another one of the one of the hot comics in the world is popping right now. This guy's got a dope no flick Netflix special out, cold hearted. Chicago's very fine as I've been on tour with him right before this virus went down. We was out there getting it. Y'all welcome to the show. Mr. Dion Cole. What's up? His audio checking in right there. Right. Dion, what up, fam? What's up, boy? What's going on? You out there, yeah, you looking like uh uh, what my nigga brown sugar? Uh, <laughs> what's, what's the D'Angelo? You got the <laughs> yeah. You be man. You be thirst trapping, man. Why you be trapping on everybody, man? What do you mean? What do I? What be, do, that be your move, dog. You want me to be? In, you want me to be around my house in a in a full suit with shoulder pads and shit? That's what you want me to do. This is Freddie Jackson show the pass on. You want me, man, you want me to be around a crib and quarantine clean. That's what you want me to be. <laughs> you want me to be around the house. I'm like, yo. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's up, my What's dog? Up, boy? Man? How you man. doing, man? Hey, boy, we, we've got the last few dates in before they shut this down, didn't we? Didn't we, Let's man? Go. We got the last dates in, boy. That's we just crazy, like, man. I was happy about that though, but man, yeah, the whole, the rest of my whole little you did got canceled. Yeah, yeah I everything. know. You was about to go out and do your own joint. That's what I know you was going to, because the special been popping off. Everybody yeah. really been enjoying it. So, you know, you you hit that that run yeah. and I was like, yeah. that's Thank the big you, thing. So, you just been at the crib, just chilling though, man? Doing man, I just been chilling, man. Been been DJing. That's uh, funny. You been DJing, been killing yeah. 
because you do it house music. I don't know how to DJ though. I'm That's what's so classic. That's what's Dude. so classic that you don't even know how. You just like you just go boom next song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, just trying to keep my sanity around this motherfucker. Yeah. Yes. Well, bad, man. You know, I mean, everybody be calling you. I know, like you say, them that 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 um them quarant that them quarantine uh, checks supposed to be coming in. I know people trying to treat them like the the second income tax check. <laughs> <laughs> they trying to get them quarantine checks. They are just trying to come with all kinds of reasons to come up with that twelve hundred. They got that kid. They got you know, this Ricky Junior. Ricky Junior, you know, he old. He got a job. <laughs> It be I'm big Rick. So you talk about 1200, 1200. That's it. That's right there. You can take that number, you can take my wife and get her 1200. You know, yeah, that's that. hilarious, dude. Yeah, yeah motherfuckers about that bread, Jack. Dude, these, and, and look to everybody out there, man. Stay your ass at home, man. For yeah. real, dude. Stay home. I, it's so many, dude. It's so many white people walking outside, dude. They at beaches, walking down the yeah. street, walking their you know, dogs. You're not gonna I stop them from going to the dog park. You're not gonna stop them from going to the no, dog. No, you're park. not. I thought mm -hmm. this shit was over. <laughs> in, my, in, my, in, my, in my neighborhood, I was like, I was looking around. I was like, this shit over <laughs> with. Like, <laughs> Niggas got ice cream and shit. I'm like, oh. I'm like, where y'all get ice cream, nigga? Like, <laughs> just, nigga, just a lovely day. Like it's soft going serve on. from from yeah. the truck, like from yeah. his hands to their hand. Like yeah, I'm sharing like, it, just like sharing it. Like. Cold man, it's crazy. You killed it right there. All right, man. Like I say, show's been popping off. A lot of great stuff. Y'all ain't seen this uh this special on Netflix right now. The fat. Fat Ballerina is hot, boy David Arnold, one of the funny comedians out here. Everybody loves him, L.A., writer, uh, talented comedian. He wanted to show us some stuff that's going on in his house during this corona quarantine. Check it out, David Arnold. The thing about being on lockdown for God knows how long is that you got to keep things moving. Did you make me anything to eat? I made you a protein shake. I don't see a damn thing. One of the things about being on quarantine is it's gonna bring out the truth in everybody. Oh, the truth is coming it's out. It's so bad. <laughs> truth is about to come out because they're gonna see me do my hair. This one been up here for three days. Wash your ass. Dad, I'm bored. Uh, we all <laughs> bored. Being on lockdown ain't for the week. Why y'all ain't got on no mask? I just be walking around here looking for stuff to do. I guess I can dust off this frame. Sometimes I just stand out here and wait for the mailman. One of the things that you gotta do when you're locked down is try to get an exercise in. Julie said, how long is it gonna take us to get up this mountain? I said, it don't matter, we ain't got nothing to do. And sometimes when we ain't got nothing to do, we just dance. <laughs> I'm going to spend all my time sitting in here trying to figure out where it all went wrong. And you and I both know it started on election day four years ago. God damn. We've been adding, we've been having people come on here crazy. This dude right here has been, uh, you know, one of the top comics in the country in the last few years, uh, ripping it down always, all around from the big concerts to clubs, killing it on his Instagram and putting it on for Ohio in a real way, even though he lives in California right now. Y'all show some love. Welcome to the show, Mr. Gary Owens. What's up, Gary? What's up, dog? Start my video. Yeah. Uh, he, he look at him. He see he got the bagels hat on. You putting on like that. I see you. Number one pick. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> like, you know, who you think they're going with, man? You know, they, they, they going with Joe Burrow. They go with Joe Burrow, right? They got you. Yeah. He from that area too, right? That's where you from, right? He, originally. He, well, he's from like uh 90 minutes from Cincinnati. So it, he's like where the brokest white people live in this yeah. country. The in Appalachians. The the, oh, they, yeah, they up in there like that deep part of, uh, of, of is that Kentucky or Ohio though? No, oh, it's, it's Ohio, Ohio, but it's on it's on the border of West Virginia. Oh, but it's wow. up there in the hills. That's good. And I see you letting the food man chew go. You, it is it's called. Did it, did it connect? Did it connect at the bottom? It, no, it's I, I, I'm shaving it. It's called the flu man chew. 
Oh, Lou, Lou. <laughs> what the wife been doing? Y'all been like, y'all, you've you been, you've been participating, cooking. You've been a part of the, like the, the whole like domesticating Gary Owens self. I know. I, you know what? We're gonna take a vacation when this is over, <laughs> separate. <laughs> <laughs> It's family right here. So, you know, you essentially, you want the essential workers just out here trying to get things done. Yeah. Well, that's what's going on. Here, yeah. People talk about the, about, the, about the plane ticket prices. I done bought three buses. So these are my three buses now, right? I'm a bus driver. I also work at Burger King. And I'm also delivering essentials. Uh, I got the mask. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I got the mask right here. Got the gloves. Can't the just for men. Hair dye kit right here. Got, got it. Got it. Just for men. You know what I'm saying? Your gloves. So your gloves, I don't know if the gloves gonna help for long. You think so? I mean, well, they keep dye off your head, so they gotta keep it. They gotta keep it. Dye the virus, it, right? Yeah, it got so the virus, the virus can get through Beijing. I know. Exactly. You feel me? So, exactly. Now, said I want to tell you. First of all, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna talk about the essentials. I'm dropping off toilet paper, and if you ain't got toilet paper, people gotta learn how to use what they can find. You understand? Okay. You go to the store, no toilet paper, no problem. Where the, where the baby wipes at? Oh, no baby wipes? No problem. Where the Clorox wipes at? Oh, no Clorox wipes? No problem. Where the stuffed animals at? Where the stuffed mm. animals? You, you see where I'm going Stuffed animals? Yeah, I'm dropping off guinea pigs and rabbits to everybody on my block because you can rinse them okay. off. And it, it, it's a pet after. So you use them over and over again. Right, because I'm talking about real live rabbits and guinea pigs. You understand what I'm saying? You got to get a white yeah. one so you know when you're done. You feel me? And then, you know, and you rinse it off and then that, that's a pet for the kids. You give it to the kids. So it's a, two, it's, a, it's a two for one, but you don't think you're going to leave a little bit of virus on there? Like a little bit? Well, if on the rabbit. The virus, the rabbit going to die. So that's, that's a good test. That's a good test. Six days, the rabbit out of there. But if that rabbit Maybe. survived, that ain't nothing but a puppy for the kids. You understand me? Now, hey, yo, you don't want them Peter people. You don't want them Peter people after you, man, right there. No, nah, man, it's not good. Hey, because they on quarantine, too. I'm going to tell you something else that's going to help. Check this out. You got to get the right mask. Now, I just had a sandwich had a little bit of garlic on it. I can't do the mask right now because I, you know, all, <laughs> hey, all my shit coming back to me. It's coming all back like, like memories. You understand me? Everything I had, the whole lunch is right in here. They talk about hand sanitizer with a mint set. With a mint set, see? <laughs> You hey man, I want to know how, how you how you buy three buses though, man. How you they get cheap. three buses? They cheap. So look, this is my favorite one right here. I'm gonna take the radio out of this one and throw it in that middle. It got a CD player on that one. Okay. Now, also went down to Ponderosa, got a bunch of sneeze guards. You understand me? Oh, these are the safest buses. These are all the safest buses right here. These are all the safest buses. You know what I'm saying? And look, you also, you. also, you see my shirt. Just got a new job, <laughs> UPS worker. Okay. All right. What I'm doing mm -hmm. is. All the houses that's on my route, I'm dropping them all the packages off through the bus. You understand what so I'm saying? So two for you two, two for one. one. Two for one. You understand what I'm saying? That, two that's for one. smart. So look, get your rabbits. I'm also getting the just for men gloves. I got about four, five pair of these. And then we, we get your breath check match. You know what I'm saying? And you can survive in here. A lot of y'all, the breath worse than the Rona. Sometimes your breath be worse than the Rona. We figure that out right now. Hey, I just I gotta call everybody and apologize, said. All my motherfucking secrets stink. I ain't know all my damn secrets was smelling like that. <laughs> all my secrets. I'm like, oh, who's what? Oh, that's how you do this right here. Yeah, oh, man, what? I didn't know. <laughs> hey, I ain't telling nobody shit else from now on. I done got to know myself. Everything in here ain't, ain't full out there. You know what I'm saying? For real. You see, P, man, I thank you, dog, for coming you, through man. and giving us that little here. knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. What, what the gloves? Uh, Just for me. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing hair dyes, too. When I come through, I'm going to bring that brown, real black mix for that beer. You know, because you don't want to be jet black. You want that brown, real black mix for that beer. I'm coming through. Don't even worry about it. All right, for sure. Shout out, man. Thank you, bro. I'm going to bring the man right here, Russell Simmons. We, you, you're such a good sport, Russ. You always be out there. You know everybody be messing with you because you're over there. But uh, appreciate you, Russell. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thanks for making this happen, man. You. It was a something. It was something in your spirit. It was something the idea that you had, and I mean, you literally called and made it happen. Well, thank you. Let me say that that the idea came from Erica Ford, who I've worked okay. with for over twenty years. Her uh, and her team at Life Camp have been servicing the Queens community, which is the epicenter of this epidemic. It is the most uh, condensed area with uh, coronavirus in the entire world. 
And what we're learning is that it's becoming more and more an underserved community virus. The fact is that those who are living in close quarters and who are living yeah. in underserved communities, imagine in uh, the projects and getting into a metal elevator where the virus lasts on the wall in the elevator for days at a time, and we don't have support systems. So those who are delivering food to the old ladies who can't come out their apartment, and those who are working in the bodegas, maybe some in the pharmacists have masks, but those who are working on the mom and pop stores and places don't have them. And the reality is it's becoming more and more of a poor people virus and underserved communities, as I said, and poor white, and black communities, especially in urban areas, are targets. And so, since no one is focused on them, maybe we could bring awareness, and I had a goal to raise at least $100,000. I think we have made that. And if we haven't, I'll make sure we made that. And it was a collective prayer to have us talk about the disparity and talk about what we can do for underserved community members that will end their support systems that will make a difference. So that was the prayer. and. I got to thank so many people, uh, Jeru and Bob Sumner, who created Deaf Comedy Jam. Mm -hmm. And I have some people who gave checks, uh, of course, uh, Stan Lathan's family and Eddie Griffin and Tiffany Haddish and Regina King and Mike Tyson and Leo Cohen and Mike Bivens and the Gush Cloud family who helped in the back end, Frank and Nina Cooper. Uh, Kevin Lyles gave a nice size check. So Kimura, of course, contributed. Ming Lee, of course, contributed. And, and, and you. Uh, Anthony Anderson also wrote a nice check. So we, we made our number, but the idea was to create awareness because again, no one is watching and no one, there is no organization. Someone said, one of my really rich friends who I thought would give us at least as much as we raised, uh, he said, well, why don't you give it to a credible organization? Well, Erica Ford has been on the ground working in our community and she's already been giving masks to the, the, the community members and the uh, essential service uh, people for the last few weeks. And now we need to get more masks. Now I have to thank also quickly before Erica, I want you to speak. And I wish we could show you a video of what you do. But Ricky Hughes and Ann Carley, Simone Reyes, Gary Foster, who else here? Yasmeen, there's a whole team. And also um, the president of the Rush Foundation. Is there more names, Gary? I don't want to leave anybody out. People did work to create this. So yeah. I can't read it, Brother Gary. So let Erica speak, but I wanted to say this. We have to think about the disparity and how always when there's a struggle, the underserved get the, the brunt of it. And our projects are in our urban areas are the most at risk. They have the least health, health care and support systems. So we may have to take care of our own because no one is watching up to them. So that's just, yeah. that was the idea. It was Erica's idea. She said healing through laughter. And then it was about so, 10 days ago or nine days ago, and we, went, we went to work. And you, Cedric, thank you for yes. um, your support. And for everybody who did the work, all the comedians. Am I leaving yeah. somebody out, Gary? What? Oh, Snoop Dogg for broadcasting this. Tyrese yeah. for broadcasting this. And all the other countless feeds and support systems that came along. And... It was pulled together very quickly, and it was very... What else, Gary? Brother Rush, Gary, what? The Rush Foundation. And the Rush Foundation. Yes, my brother Danny. Yeah. And they're, they're make, we wanted to do... We thought we might raise more than the 100000 which and we have. Facebook. And Facebook, thank you for the support. They gave us special yeah. support. But um, we wanted to make sure that we... That every penny... And Twitch, thank you, Twitch. Twitch, right? Another... Um, the Twitch team. Yeah. But we want we wanted to make sure that we were in touch with and, and Erica is all the organizations that are doing the work on the ground because contrary to what people say, there is no one worrying about the people in the projects and their support systems and their essential workers. So maybe we can bring that up as a discussion and some of the foundations that are getting the millions of dollars and the and the, yeah. the mass can also support the effort to help those people in the places where uh, they're most at risk where people are living in close quarters in our communities. So we want to make sure that, that the people aren't staying in the house and they're out there, they're working, they're doing it. So they got to have masks. They had to have gloves so that they can stop the spreading of the virus. In Jamaica, Queens, it is the epicenter of the epicenter. And, and we have to stop the rise of the virus. 
We have to help save people's lives. We're on the front line stopping gun violence every day, but today we're going to be on the front line stopping the coronavirus. You know, and so we're out there handing out the stuff with 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 local support. We're going to put at least fifty thousand masks in the streets. Healing through laughter is a concept that we came up with for lost their loved ones, and so healing it it helps you therapeutically with your soul. And when you see people are impacted negatively by the trauma of the coronavirus laughing helps kill your soul or laughing helps yeah. about this monotony of this pandemic and just get you back to just living in some kind of normality and so we salute all the comedians and we want to continue just laughing as a as a therapy to get over this stuff and so we have to reach out and support those who have less resources and opportunity and that's what this is about we talk about people who deserve credit the right. people in the street deserve the credit. The essential workers deserve the credit. That's and we right. just serve them. And I want to say that that's what this prayer is about. So thank you, everybody who donated and all the comedians. Yes. Uh, I think, again, appreciate it. We thank you so much, Russell. You know, great spirit and your kindness. And thank you, Erica, for, you know, for even being inspired to do such a thing. We're about to head to the after party, Russ. Uh, so we're about to turn up over here. You know what I'm saying? We go kick it.